I will ask you one more time. Who the hell was that man who just dropped you off? Huh? Does it matter? What? Huh? Daniel, does it matter? Of course it matters. It matters because I am your husband and the man of this house. And I demand to know, Rosalind. Really? My husband. <laughs> so suddenly you remember you are the man of the house. A man that can't feed me and our daughter. Just one child. Just one child. And you can't even pay her school fees. I take good care of you. I feed you. And what do I get in return? Question me who my friends are. Wow. Wow, Rosaline. Seriously. You know that the only reason this is happening is because I lost everything about a year ago. You know, you were here when my shop got burnt. And I'm, I'm seriously, I'm surprised that you're, you're saying you are the one who carries all the bills in this house. When you know that even though I don't have much, I support taking care of the bills in this house in the little ways that I can. Your ways aren't enough, Daniel. If you do not sit tight, one day you would wake up and I'm gone. seven-year-old daughter who I just put to bed and I and, and before she slept she was asking me why, why we're quarreling earlier oh and I hope you remember telling her that her father is not capable of taking care of us see now come on you know I just started a new company and, and, and the company is going to go places hmm. okay so until it goes places don't you dare leave your filthy hands on me Hello, dear. <laughs> you should know how to make me blush when you call me like that. My rose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I love you, dear. <laughs> Who was that? One more time, Rosalind. Who the hell was that? My lover. A lover better than you. Yes. He's better than you in all ways. He's a very good provider. And he loves me. Rosalind. Is your disrespect and contempt for me so much right now that you would have an affair under my own roof and just say it to my face like that. Huh? Okay, so um, I don't want to be cheating on you under your own roof. 
Yeah, I want freedom. I want a divorce. <laughs> a, a, a divorce? For, for what? Yes, to start a new life. Away from you. Look, my lover is taking me to the UK. Something that you can never do. And what about our daughter? What about Sophie, Rosalind? Have you sat down for a moment and to think about how all of this is affecting her? Or, 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 or what, you, you want to take her away from you? Oh, no. Ah, uh, I'm not taking her away from you. I mean, she's a burden. You can have her. Mm -hmm. I want to go start a new life with nothing about you remaining in it. Not even the child we had together. Mm. Oh. And I guess... I'll see you in court. Honestly, Aki, again, I just I want to say thank you. I am so, so grateful you know, to you and your wife for taking care of Sophie, looking out for her, and even, you know, hosting her, keeping her here, whenever I am, I'm able to take care of her. Thank you. Guys, nothing. I mean, that's what friends are for, you know? I'm just glad that she's not going to witness any court uh, hearing where she will witness her parents argue with each other again. Oh, no, I'm absolutely not putting her through that again. I mean, <laughs> she was literally there, and they were asking her, you know, who she thinks loves her the most and whose house she feels she'll be most comfortable at. Really? I, I, I'm telling you. I mean, she stood right there. I was crying and telling the judge that she wanted both of her parents together. She wanted to stay with both of her parents. It broke my heart. I, I don't know how Rosalind doesn't see what it is she's doing to our family. Well, uh, let me apologize that um, for not appearing at the court during the proceedings. It's just that my wife gave birth and I needed to go home and sort one or two things out. Yeah. Hmm? It's fine, Rose. Thank nah. you so much. Right? Nah, it's nothing. I appreciate that. It's man. nothing. Mm. Mm. Thanks. How many times do I need to tell you to always pick up after yourself when you're done making a mess of your bed? Well, look at look at this now. Hold on. Sophie. Sophie, I do. You're still sleeping. I see. In the next five minutes, I promise you, Sophia, I will leave you and you will trek to school. I won't even I won't even help you in any way. Give you transport fare. Dad, it's not like I can leave these lessons anyway. Mm. 
good one in that. Money. What is your small, small bribery and corruption that you used to used to get me every time? Okay, I'll be ready in twenty minutes. Ten. Fifteen. It's always a business agreement with you. <laughs> Just for me to get ready and join you down, you're already working. How lovely. I don't mean that much to you. Girl, please, okay? I made you breakfast. <sighs> ah, thank you, but I'll pass. I rather eat at Auntie Kem this place this morning. Mm -hmm. Never eat at food again. Never cook good food. You'd much rather eat a meat side than this food that your father's cooking. Mm, at least her food doesn't make me puke, mm. or like some people's. Nice one, nice one. Well done, mm. boy. I'll get you back. Never. Mm. Never. So, mm. should we go? Yeah. I know saying that what you go want to, you want the same thing. Okay, now they come, make a go big and come. Let All me right, just scoop no it. Let me scoop it. Uh, whatever it is you said for her, tell for me too. No, I know, sir. I know. Okay. I thought you had breakfast this morning. I did. I did. Still, uh, okay, I confess it wasn't that great. Uh, I'm just glad you know that you can't even cook to save your life. Sophia, I am going to learn how to cook just so that I can shame you. Uh. Bits. What is your special self that you're even... Has this definitely. Okay. Um, Sophie, you hold it very carefully, okay? Say it's an Okay? Thank you. <laughs> I know you enjoy this one. Ah! I'll come back later today for my next meal. No problem. Are you paying for everything at home? Ah, no problem now. I get you, I get you 100%. Don't worry. Bye bye, sir. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> bye. Be a good girl, though. Bye. <laughs> of course, I don't want to know best. No, no, best. No, best. My baby. My baby, no, best. What do you, what do you want to do? Four minutes. Just meat. And rice. What do you want to do? Eh. Dad, good evening. Hi. Oh. Oh, how are you? Mm, I'm fine. Mm. How's that today? I look tired. Oh, work was alright. It was exhausting. I'm hungry though. I hope there's food for me. No. I got this at Auntie came this place earlier today. Okay, so what am I supposed to eat then? Sophie, come on. At, at this point, you really should be able to cook uh, at your age. I'm so sorry, but I was raised by a man who doesn't know how to cook. And life would have been a lot more easier if I had a wife or I had a mother. Sophie, we've talked about this before. You don't need a mother. I don't need a wife. Just because one lady or one woman threw us out like we were nothing, doesn't mean every other lady is like that. <sighs> Stop it, Sophie. Please, just, just stop it. Okay? I loved your mother. She left. She left to go be with another man because she was taking her to, to, to the UK. Doesn't mean you have to die lonely. 
Besides, you can't always escape the loneliness by overworking yourself. Look, Sophie. I understand that this is not easy for you at all. I know that there are moments where you know you struggle with the emotional impact and the trauma of all of this. And I'm sorry, okay? But this is the situation on ground right now. We have to find a way to focus and forge a way ahead. All right? I understand. Cool. Cool. Anyway, enjoy your food. Let me go freshen up. Okay, probably place an order for something. <coughs> hey. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart. Hi. Oh, Dad. Ah, also the face. I need this jam lesson. It's stressful. Mm. Can't I get into school without it? Uh, sorry. That's not possible. Oh, they want you direct entry. I wrote jam last year. Don't give me admin. It's not my fault. Mm. Well. Maybe you will eventually get it, okay? Just, you know, stick with it. Okay. Mm. But, call myself this. <laughs> Not happening, sweetheart, okay? I have a business dinner that I have to prepare for um, because there's a, a contract I'm chasing. Really? That's great. We can celebrate it's me getting direct entry to school. Uh, again, mm. not happening. Ugh. And we'll get ready. Fine. <laughs> Sophie! I'm off! Try not to burn down the house, okay? Okay, Dad. Bye. Hey. Good evening, sir. Hi. Good evening. <laughs> uh, what can I do for you? I'm sorry, the gate was open, so I just uh, right. came in. I brought food for Sophie. Oh, uh, Sophie, your food is here. Okay, Dad. Um, just forward me the bill, okay? I'll send okay. the money to you, okay? Okay, it's fine, sir. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'll see you later. Okay. Bye, sir. <laughs> ah, no, that was the biggest deal this year, bro. Hmm. Man, did you hear the silence once I was done with my pitch? Hmm. Ah, if no. a needle had dropped, everyone would have heard it. But you see, the most interesting part was when the CEO of Alco Holdings stood up after a moment of silence and said, How much will it cost to execute the project? I, can, I swear to you, I. I he was going to deny us. <sighs> After that long dramatic pause, I was like, e <laughs> Anyway, I will have said we should go and celebrate, but my wife and kids are waiting for me at home. <sighs> I, I don't tell you before. Ona to do. Ona, we don't marry you. Do too much. Ona to do. Okay. Oh. Okay. Dad. Mm -hmm. What is stopping you from finding love? I mean, it's been 11 years since Rosalind left you and um, Sophie. Don't you think it's time? I think I've told you before and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you again. We're good. Okay. Like, we're happy. We, we, we don't need anybody. We don't need anything. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. I'm good. Are you truly happy? Yes. I, look, ever since Rosalind left, I decided to just focus on, you know, Sophie and, you know, my work. And look at me today. I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm doing great, actually. Yeah. What about Sophie? She doing well. No, oh, tell me. Is she happy? Or she's just surviving on what you left her off with? Listen, there are levels to these things. Sophie is no longer a child. She's becoming a woman. 
Okay, do you buy her pants, bra, or pad? <laughs> okay, come on, be serious. Pa pad. What time would they buy Sophie pad for? She's a child. She's 17. I mean, an average female gets her period between the ages of 12 and 13. The late ones get their period between the ages of 15 and 16. I thought exactly. You never imagined that she would need assistance or such discussions, did you? Listen, like I said before, it's not all about you. I'm happy you're back. I was scared. Why were you scared? Oh, the house was dark. I'm lonely. So I missed you. That's it. See, all this our fighting and bickering is scaring her, please. Now. I don't care. Please, please now, please, please, I'm begging you. Okay, you know what? She can she can hear us fighting. Okay, okay, you won't stay because of me, stay because of her. She needs you, she needs her mother. Please. Don't you dare. Don't you dare ask me to stay. Okay? Rosie. Rosie, wait now. See, I don't, I don't know how to raise a daughter. Sophie, I'm home. Sophie? Baby. No. Okay, what is this thing that is too much for me to know? Hmm? Hold on, is it? Is this about that your monthly flow thing? Hmm? Oh my god, I'm, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm, 
I, I didn't know. How long has this been going on for? About a year now. It's kind of surprising when they just found out. So you're really busy with work and stuff. Now, do you have your sanitary towels? Uh -uh. No. I forgot to restock. Okay, uh, in that case, let me dash to the store and get some for you. Ah, and painkillers too. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. Also, food. Auntie Kem didn't come out today. Oh. Hi, Auntie Kim. Auntie Kim, please, can you resume cooking as soon as possible? Can't continue eating my father's food. Making me porch. <sighs> Sophie, my dear, I, I wish I could, but that won't be possible anytime soon. Is everything okay? Like, what happened? What went wrong? Why haven't you seen me all this time? Again? Kim, what's it? Kim, what happened? <laughs> so everything is not okay. Sure. Everything is not okay. I I lost my mother. I lost oh. everything. I lost, everything is not okay. So everything is not okay with me. Sure. Everything is not okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry you've lost everything you can do. I'm so sorry this has happened to you. You know, why don't, why don't you um, get in the car and tell us where you're going? We'll, we'll just... We'll take you there or... We'll take you home with us if you want. Huh? Thank you, sir. Please. Thank please. you, sir. Please. Thank sorry, you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Is the water you requested? I hope it makes you feel better. <clears throat> so you do know that you can unpack here, right? I mean, I'm not going to force you or anything, but like they say, a problem shared is half solved. So if you're willing to talk, you're willing to listen. When my mother died. I I had to bury her. And as an only child without any source of support, I I had to sell all my cooking utensils, even my phone to pay for the burial and mortuary fee. Wow. Wow. 
So, so how are you managing now that you've had to sell off your sources of livelihood? For now, I'm not doing anything. I, I just roam. In fact, as we speak, I don't have a house. How so? I got back from my mother's burial and saw my things outside. My landlord threw me out without even telling me. <laughs> okay, that's ridiculous. You do know you can sue him, right? Huh? Sue him? Yes. No, no. I, I can't sue someone that has been very supportive. When my mother's illness got worsened, he was very, very supportive because of my mother. Do you know we are owing him two years' rent? So he, he has every right to do what he did. Where do you live? I, I, I kept my things in one Paco house. I, I had to beg them to please allow me to keep my things there and show me where to shower. How about this? I hire you as my cook, chef, whatever. I pay a monthly salary and also put you on an allowance. And uh, of course, you can eat whatever it is you cook over here. And then you can move into one of the guest rooms here so you don't have to worry so much about accommodation. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's fine, it's fine. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, also, what, what would you consider fair as a, as a monthly salary? Monthly salary. So you don't have to pay me now. You see, you've done more than enough. Giving me accommodation and even feeding me is even more than enough, okay. sir. Thank you. Okay. Uh, how, how about uh, how's two hundred thousand a month? Does that sound fair enough to you? God bless oh, you, sir. Oh, oh, oh. God bless please, you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please, please sit, sit. Sit. Two hundred. It's not true. It's not. Let us see. I watch moving immediately. Sir. I said moving immediately. Uh, yeah. Today. Today. Mm -hmm. Moving now. Hey. Sit down. Oh. Say. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. In that case, let me let me run to the. Pack up your dinner, then and then pack my stuff and now we here soon. So I can make you a very delicious dinner, sir. So dinner thank you. already? Sir, so just to say thank you. You've done so much, sir. So God bless you. So it's I'll okay. be back. All right. Thank All right. you, sir. Uh, see. Thank, well. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Mm. Now, where's that Sophie that thinks she can tell me what to say or do? Sophia! Come in. your father ah oh, he went to a business you know meeting something business related oh, okay <laughs> that's fine how are you <laughs> <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine let me show you to your room okay. I, I painted it pink pink yes it's a pretty color it's <laughs> vibrant that's for baby girl like you <laughs> oh, okay 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 ah oh, okay oh sweet home i guess thank you <laughs> Hi. Uh, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Hmm. Sir, I, I made you a special dinner as I promised. Please sit and eat. Really? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. It's a way of saying thank you, sir, for everything. Can I serve you one time? Um, sure, of course.
This looks amazing and it smells wonderful. It's nothing, sir. I just had to make it to appreciate you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, I'll be in the kitchen. I'm sorry, hold on. Um, what about Sophie? Has she eaten? Oh, yes. She enjoyed her meal. Great, great. great. I hope you enjoy it, too, sir. I plan to. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, hi. Is everything okay? Um, yes, fine. I'm, I'm fine, sir. I hope I didn't feel. No, I, I was up already. Um, why aren't you sleeping yourself? I had to clean. I noticed the house was very dusty. See the tiles? It looks like it's not been clean in a while, so I just had to help out. Okay. No, now you've made me a bit self-conscious. Because I usually clean the house when I when I'm chance when I'm free. Unfortunately, I've not been <laughs> I've not been free in, in quite some time. And as for Sophia, you've been into her room. You know how she is. She barely cleans her room. Talking of the whole house. I noticed. <sighs> but can I ask you something? Why didn't you get help? Because I'm not too comfortable having strangers around the house. You know? I, uh, oh no 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 no! This this is nothing to do with you, okay? I just didn't think that we needed the help. Besides, your job here is to cook, not to clean. Can you? It's nothing, sir. I, besides, I couldn't I couldn't sleep. I just had to help. It's nothing. Yeah, uh, change of location can do that to you sometimes. But you know what? I think I have something that can help you. I'll be right back. This is my spare phone. I have white noise and soft music, the kind of stuff that will help you sleep all in a night. Okay. It will work. Anyway, um, why don't you just try and sleep, okay? The house, the cleaning, some. Still gonna be here tomorrow. All right. Thank Good you, night. Sir.
So, uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to take you to school today. Uh, you'll go by Uber, okay? I'm in a hurry. I have a meeting to attend. Uh, but I'll send you money for your Uber, okay? This is Daniel. Having breakfast? Uh, no, like I said, I'm in a bit of a Just eat. Dad, Dad! Mm -hmm. you, you should eat, it's very nice. You should try it, at least a little. Sorry. Uh, just a little. I will send you money for Uber, okay? Okay. Mr. Daniel! Daniel, Mr. Daniel, um, please wait. Since you couldn't eat this morning, I had to quickly pack this for you. Oh, oh, this is very sweet. Thank you very much, Nkiri. You're welcome. Oh, so you are now both a uh, cook and teacher? You're welcome, sir. Uh, thank you very much. How's it going, baby? Well, I finally figured out how to do my graph. Because I've been thinking they knew the trick all along. Oh, well, that is fantastic. Thank you for You're welcome, honey. Hello? Okay, let's continue. So, that was... 916, right? Yes, 916. They're coming. Oh, hey. Uh. Hey, Mr. Daniel. Hi. Um, sorry for disturbing you. Please, can I borrow your phone again? I can't sleep. Oh, sure, of course. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Uh, and Kim? Yes, sir. How's your stay in this house been so far? Oh, fantastic. Trust me. Especially Sophie's um, constant phases whenever I give her food. Mm. I love it. And then your constant kindness. I'll never take it for granted, sir. Thank you so much. Good. I was just... Uh... I just wanted to know for sure that it was not anything in this house that was making you sleepless. Uh, so I'm glad to know that you are, you know, you're happy to be here. Thank you, sir. Good night. Good night again. Hi. Ah, morning. Um, so, um, yesterday I talked about going to shop today for the house. Here's a list of things we need. 
Um, we may have a little bit of a problem. Um, the card for my expense account is with the secretary at the office. And uh, my other card, uh, it expired and I've not had the chance to walk into the bank to get a new one. So we probably will have to wait till tomorrow. Okay, sir. Mm. Um, but, sir, there is a problem. Okay. We may not have lunch or dinner because I've exhausted everything I made when I go here. Okay. There's no food stuff at all. That, that's not going to work. Um, um, just be a little patient. Give me some minutes. Let me wrap up on this show that I'm watching and uh, we'll go to the market together and I'll just do direct transfers from my phone. It's fine, sir. Please let me know when you're done. Everything okay, thank you, sir. I needed it in your arms, but the skies of yesterday clouded my view. I let the pain of the past drown out your wants, but now I see it was always. I mean, I can honestly, man, I cannot wait for this to go. Do you know what it be? I can't wait for this deal to come through, man. I can't lie to you. Seriously. Yeah, the only challenge is <laughs> it's almost as, as though I can't um, calculate the future estimated revenue. What do you think? Don't hurt yourself, though. Thank you, sir. Mm. I'm with you, I'm with you. I, I'm, I was just saying that I can't wait to add my own success story to the company's success story. And I know it's in you. I let the pain of the past drown out you want. now I see it was always you. Through the pain and tears of the past, I see the love that's been there all along. Yeah. In your embrace, I find my peace at last. Thankful for you, my heart is healing. I had everything Ooh. I needed in your arms, but the skies of yesterday. Clouded my view. Yeah. I let the pain of the past drown out. Now I see it was always you. I heard everything I needed. I had everything I needed in your arms. Yeah. The skies of yesterday clouded my view. I let the pain of the past drown out you once. Now I see. It was always you. Hey. Mr. Daniel. Huh? You and I, we've passed this law. We are, you are basically a member of this household now, so no more formalities. Just Daniel. Oh, okay. Um, da so da Daniels. Um, sorry, sir. There was something I would like to show you. Okay. Okay, I would love to show you a very quick meal you can make for you and Sophie if I'm ever not around. Unless you're busy, then we can do it next time. Oh, no, 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 please. Anything for Sophie. Okay. Okay. Okay, so cooking, there are different tricks. Okay. And the taste of the food determines how you cut the onions. For instance, let me cut this onion and show you. Okay, try this. Mm. And this. So what's the difference? Um, that one is uh, stronger, is much stronger than this one. Exactly. 
And you should know um, the way you fry your onions too matters. The deeper you fry it, the more tastier the meal. How, how do you know all of this? Um, well, my mom, she was a very good cook. I learned from her. Okay, okay. Um, anyway, uh, you obviously know how to cook. You are a fine cook. I've eaten your food. Have you considered like going bigger? Maybe doing more? Um, yes, actually, I have considered going bigger. I even thought of cooking food in bowls to sell, but... And then even creating content, food content. But the problem is I don't have a phone. So for now, I just have to chill. Anyway, uh, what's next? Okay, so um, what's next, Mr. Daniel? Sorry, Daniel. Is You would have to make a very sumptuous meal for your daughter today. Yes. For real? <laughs> she would be very excited. I know, I know. <laughs> please, please. Okay, so let's just do that. <laughs> All right. Okay, um, so tomatoes. All right. I'll show you how to make very tasty tomatoes with Daniel. So you watch this. Why are you guys looking at me? Taste the meal. It's a very special meal. So taste it. Mm. Oh, not? It's good. No, I'm glad you like it because I made it from scratch. No, honestly, seriously, I made it from scratch. I mean, special thanks to uh, Kim here. She was the one that, you know, did it for me. Well, she didn't do it. She helped me. Oh, this is really nice. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> but all thanks to him because he exactly. did it. Exactly. <laughs> seriously. Mm. As in, I made her lunch. Just lunch you for Sophie. And she was so emotional. Ah, thanks. And all of this is thanks to Nkim to you. Are you for real? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's been great. She's been great around the house, like doing all sorts of things. Even when you're going to be home, she didn't clean house, brother. <laughs> and, you know, I asked her, I'm like, this is not your job. She said she feels indebted to me. So, <laughs> well, thank God. At least your house will not be as messy as it used to be before. Ah, okay. <laughs> if you want to insult me, come directly, come straight. Don't go through the corners. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, she even helps her with her jam and like, her homework and things. So she seems to be in good hands. She must be intelligent. I'm sure she is. Ah, this came the girl or something. Or... <laughs> anyway, uh, wrap up. Let's go for lunch. Lunch, yes. Lunch. Quite late today. Um, actually, Sophia really waiting for so long. She wanted to show you how good her math score has been called. Like she scored really high, but she eventually got tired and had to go to bed. You know, sometimes I, I feel as though she must be emotionally abandoned or I don't know, feeling lonely and stuff because I'm always away at work. And so I'm grateful to you, Kim, for always being here for her. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you. Um, I got something for you. There. For me? Yes. <gasps> oh my God, Typhoon. Yes. Thank you so much. God bless you. You know, I, I, I thought that uh, I remember you telling me anyway, that uh, you wanted to start content creation based off of your culinary activities, but uh, you were not able to because you didn't have a phone that was up to the standard. And so I, I decided to get this one for you. And I like to encourage people who are doing things, you know, big things, so that they can at least achieve what they want to. I hope this helps you reach the potential you wish to. Thank you, sir. God bless you so much. That's right. I'm so grateful. It's all right. Thank you. Good night, thank you. Good night, sir. <laughs>
Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. A card. It's a pretty flower. Thank you. I see what you did here with uh, the cello tape. Mm. You're doing very well. Very lovely. Mm. I also got a caricature for all of us. It's, oh. oh, this is the best. Mm. <laughs> um, interesting. Wow. Beautiful. Interesting. So, this is you, this is me, and this is Auntie Kendi. Wow. You know, you never used to <laughs> celebrate Father's Day for me before now. What, what changed? Oh, Auntie Nkembi brought up the idea. She showed me how much of a good father you are. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Okay. Um, for this caricature or whatever, I see what you did here, uh, <laughs> Sophia. Mm. So, this is you. Mm -hmm. This is me. Mm -hmm. And this is Auntie Nkembi. I see. You can see how big your head is here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm thinking to you. Let's go see your legs. Hope all is well, sir. Actually, all is not well. I can't lie to you. I've been trying to solve for the financial expectations of this transaction, this thing I've been trying to do, so that I can you know, pitch it to potential investors in the coming days. But I don't know. For some reason, it's not working. It's really frustrating. Well, I'm really sorry to hear this. But you know, sometimes when people are actually stressed, things don't come easily. I think you should relax. Yes. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. That's really kind of you. Why, why are you out here, by the way? Oh, me. I was trying to create happy thoughts in order to sleep. But... The happy thoughts kept telling me, girl, you need to work harder in order to make it in life. So that's why I'm up. And, uh, what, what, what are these happy thoughts, let me ask? Well, nothing much. I'm just trying to see myself as a top chef. Um having a nice restaurant, a very fancy one, serving continental dishes with lots of staffs, like many staffs. <laughs> well, that sounds amazing. I literally love it. Thank you. Now, how do you intend to achieve this? I'm going to a very good culinary school to enhance my knowledge. As we speak, I'm already building my social media presence. Once you click, I'm blown. Mm. So you know what I'm thinking? Mm. I need you to find out what culinary school you need to attend and how much it costs. Okay? Um, sponsoring you and all of that would require uh, a proposal of some sort. So please, uh, I need you to uh, forward to the proposal, a business proposal, or the financial implications, or the cost implications of investing in and uh, uh, the return on investment of a three year period. Supporting small businesses is a passion to me, so. You are a real girl. Thank you. Thank you. 
Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? Let me just let me just go to bed. I'll I'll, I'll resume this tomorrow. Good night. Good night, sir. Come in. Good morning. Morning, Dad. How are you today? Uh, fine. Thank you. And yours? Not bad. You need something? Uh, do you like Auntie Kemdi? <laughs> where, is, where is this coming from? Oh, uh, you've probably been talking a lot lately, and... Uh, I was just wondering, just wondering. Okay, well, I mean, mm, I, I, I don't, it, there's, there's nothing, there's no there, there, Sophia, okay, it's, I already, I already told you, I, I don't want a woman coming into this house or into this family and then you and her getting close all over again, but then you have to deal with the trauma of her walking away from both of us and it, it's a lot, it's a lot, I, just like what happened with your mother, it's too much, we've, we've talked about this before now. But I think I'm thinking Kemdi is different. I'm thinking Kemdi is the cook. You bought her a phone and you want to invest in her business. That's because I'm a good person. Sophie, come on. Like, I, I, I like to see people do well. Surely you know this about me by now. And it's business, okay? Investments always pays back. So it's always a good idea to invest in small businesses. Besides, you have your jam in two days. And I need you focused so that you can pass in flying colors the first time. Okay? Okay. All right. Go. All right. I know. Hey, beautiful people. Chef Ukemdi is here again. But this day, I'm teaching you guys on how to make the perfect Niger Jello rice. Trust me, there are secrets to cooking that other chefs might not tell you. But in order to get the perfect Niger Jello rice, the prepping of your tomatoes, your onions, your taro dough, by roasting them, but they say burning them, roasting them, roast them, roast them. It gives you that different flavor, you know? And then if you want that um, firewood says, you party jello, the one, and you don't have um, um, firewood to cook it, it's actually charcoal. Um, I'm going to show you the charcoal, don't worry. After prepping this, I'll show you how to use charcoal to get that charcoal flavor, the burning sensation, the down bottom part of it. Okay, so, I'll go in with my tomatoes first. So, why were you upset? I wasn't upset. I was just disturbed. Okay, I, I told her, Sophia, time and time and time again, I told her, you know, the problem is, uh, for some reason, she keeps forgetting, you know. Uh, it's for her own protection. We don't need anybody. We don't need a, a, a mother, wife, whatever. You know, that's how she, when she was eight years, eight years old, she used to call her, her house help uh, mommy. I had to fire the woman and refuse to hire anybody else so she could get her head straight. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. You mean a child that went through all that emotional stress during the cases, instead of you finding something to make her feel better by getting a replacement, you took them away? Come on, I can't don't make me to be the bad person here. I'm not the bad person in this story, okay? My decision or my choices were for her own good, for her own protection. I mean, it was, it was tough watching my daughter go from court case to court case and being asked ridiculous questions like who, who she loves the most, who she feels most comfortable staying with. It was, it was traumatic for an eight-year-old or a seven-year-old at the time. And I'd much rather she doesn't experience that abandonment again. Well... She's your daughter. I have no say. But I can advise that you think it through, okay? Not just for yourself, but for her. <sighs> ladies, ladies! 
Where's everybody? Sophie! Sophia! You people should come and congratulate me! Come here! You got the contract? I got it. <laughs> uh, so, where's in Kim? I need you guys to go dress up so we can go for a celebratory dinner. <sighs> and... She isn't feeling too well. She's in our room. Really? Yeah. Okay. How do you feel? I feel very feverish. I'm so cold. I'm nauseous. I feel so weak. And did you do anything strenuous today? Uh, oh no. But I, I created some content the past few days. I haven't done anything tedious. In that case, let me take you to the hospital then, huh? No, 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 no. There is no need for that. It's just um, stress fever. I'll be fine by tomorrow morning. Okay. Um, let me get you some painkillers then, okay? Okay, thank you. Hey, what are you doing? Auntie, can you help me study for tomorrow? It's um... Okay, you do know she's sick, right? That's true. Mm -hmm. Good night. I have to go to bed now. Sleep early to my day. Good night, my good baby. There you go. What about me? No hugs for me. Fine. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Good night, baby. Good night, Dad. Mm. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye. All right. So, uh, go ahead. Let me know what you think. Okay. <sighs> I did. <laughs> I search for love. In all the wrong places Really nice <laughs> How did you make it? Come on Jim You taught me a few skills You know <laughs> Go ahead Eat some more Eat some more Okay So you can drink your medicine Bless you, bless you. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> take, 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 take. <coughs> no, go ahead. Drink some more. shouldn't be doing this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought you liked me. What gave you that impression? I mean, you've been so kind to me, Mr. Daniel. You paid for my culinary school. See the end of me made for me. You, you, you buy me clothes. You buy me food. I mean everything. Look, I... Kim, I 
thought that it would only be proper that I be good to you. I, I, I'm so sorry if I somehow led you or well, misled you into believing something that's not true. But I like you. It, again, Genji, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression or misled you in any way. I, uh, that this is more than I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Rosalind, 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 Rosalind. What? Your daughter is in there crying. Do you enjoy the sound of her tears? Do you enjoy me living hungrily in your house and die of hunger? Daniel, I am in love with someone else who wants to change my life. Accept this and move on. Wait, wait, wait. Rosalind, don't do this now. I'm sure that we can fix this marriage somehow. You're the only woman I've ever loved. And we've been together since what? Since secondary school. Don't do this now, Rosalind. Daniel, I am sleeping with someone else who deserves it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Okay, <laughs> I paid your dowry. My people are returning your Black Christ next week. <sighs> okay, just a tip of advice. Women don't go out with wrong men. And that's what you are. Rosalind. Rosalind Rosalie now. Rosalind. Rosalind. Good morning, Mr. Daniel. 
I, I want to say thank you for everything you've done for me. Your, your presence in my life has been so impactful. Please, I'll... <sighs> Kim, what exactly are you trying to say? It's obvious what happened yesterday. I can no longer stay here. My, my bags are packed. I'm moving out. Please, my regards to Sophie. You were standing there Unwavering and true But my shattered heart Couldn't see the escape I had everything I needed in your arms But the skies of yesterday Clouded my view Clouded my view I let the pain of the past Drown out your arms But now I see It was always you Yeah Through the pain and tears of the past I see the love that's been there all along, yeah. In your embrace, I Hi. find my peace. Good morning. Hi, morning, love. Uh, today's my jam. Oh, right. Well, all the best with that. Mm. Mm -hmm. I bones bread. What's up with that, Kimdi? You know how it is now. Why are you talking like this? Kimdi is not around. You know, she started her culinary school, so yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, um, I have something on the way to the centre. Bye. <laughs> have a nice day, love. Thank you. All the best, huh? Ah. Uh. Okay, that's how she was kissing me. Kissed. I was surprised. I want to ask her why. You know, she said she likes me and I'm a very nice man. I don't understand. Why, you know, some women can't just like accept that they are men that are nice and maybe don't want anything from them. <laughs> Guy, <Yeah. Huh? laughs> the babe don't get feelings for you. But I thank God at least you were able to handle it maturely. How much I want to do now, How I want to do I just don't want anybody getting any wrong impression. You know how this world is today. I beg ah, you. Guy, relax now. It's not that deep. Mm. Okay, so Sophie doesn't know that she's gone. So how do you think she's going to handle it? Honestly, I don't know. But my bitter heart couldn't see what Hi. What did you do to Auntie Kemdi? Hey, princess. Oh. What did you do to Auntie Kemdi? He threw her out? No, no, I didn't. Look. Some stuff went wrong and then she left on her own. I called her and she said you guys had a disagreement. Then you threw her out. How can you possibly throw a sick woman out? I did not, okay? She left. Okay, I, I, um, you know, what? You really threw her out because you saw that I was finally feeling a motherly present. Okay, it's, it's. It's not fair. Really selfish. But princess, I, I'm right here for you. Sophia! Guy, yeah, honestly, I don't know what to do again. Like, Sophie's like a completely different person. She's so mad. So mad at me. I've never seen her like this before. But Pop, she's just a rico. Say, you know, wanting, wanting. Say, I'm very selfish. I don't care about her or her feelings or, you know, you know what she wants and that she finally has like a mother-like um presence in her life and i've done everything within my power to chase her away i see now i already told you don't stay there with her now you see things you against happiness what do i do eh? what do i do
Good morning, baby. Come on. Baby, it's been two whole days. Don't do this. Okay, fine. You at least tell me where you're going. Let's check my jams, come. Okay, uh, let me just, uh, let me drop you off. No. Since you have decided to make me live without a mom, I'll have to learn how to live without a dad soon. Sophia! is an understatement. I need to find this woman. I need you to help me find this woman. My daughter is not speaking to me. She won't say a word to me even when I'm, you know, trying to tease her or play with her. I don't want to say this, but I've told you before. For, guy, forget all of this one, whether you told me or not. How do I fix this? Go and look for me. You were always there mm -hmm. A beacon of hope and love But my bitter heart Couldn't see what you could be I had everything I needed in your arms But the scars of yesterday Clouded my view I let the pain of the past Drown out your wants But now I see It was always you I search for love In all the wrong places Yes I did Blinded by the tears Of the past Hardy, hardy. You were standing there, unwavering and true. But my shattered heart couldn't see the escape. I had everything. Clouded my view. Clouded my view. I let the pain of the past drown out your wants. But now I see it was always you. Yeah. Through the pain and tears of the past, I see the love that's been there all along. Yeah. In your embrace, I find my peace at last. Thankful for you, my heart is healing. I had everything Ooh. I needed in your arms, but the scars of yesterday clouded my view. Yeah. I let the pain of the past drown out your wounds, but now yeah. I see it was always you. I had everything I needed. I had everything. been there all along yeah in your embrace i find my peace at last thank god for you my heart is healing i had everything Ooh. i needed in your arms but the scars of yesterday clouded my view yeah. i let the pain of the past yeah. Hello, Aki. Yeah. 
Yes, I saw it. I saw it. That's because Game was such an integral part of making sure that that thing worked, okay? She was such an important part of seeing the whole proposal and everything to the end. Honestly, I don't think it would have worked or I, I would have been able to pull it off without her. And now, <laughs> she's not here. You know what? I, I do. I actually do. She's a wonderful woman. She brought so much love and joy into our lives. And, and now, she's, she's gone. She's no longer here. You, you know what? Yes, I am. I, I, actually, I actually do miss her. She was such a, a wonderful person. She brought so much love and, and, and joy into our lives. And, and now she's, she's no longer here. Honestly, I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. Sophie, 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 Sophie! Get up, get up, get up, get up. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Aww. Let's go! That's so... I... No, it's a surprise, but I promise you, you're absolutely going to love it. Let's go. Ah, give me five minutes or ten. Ten. Fine. Ten it is. Hey, Mom. Hope you're enjoying your meal. Thank you for coming, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Um, do you need any other thing? Are you sure? You enjoyed your meal? Oh, you sure? <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. If you need any other thing, you can. We are here. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. How about what that should I? It's fine. Okay, then it's fine. Can I have my special jello? And can I have the opportunity to apologize for my bad behavior the last time? Mr. Daniel. My dad has something to say to you. Look, and Kim. I'm sorry, okay? Let me start by apologizing for my behavior towards you. 
I, it, it, it's crazy that I didn't see what you were offering me. It's crazy that I didn't see the joy, the love, and the everything that you put on the table. I was just so focused on my fears and my worries. See, I was concerned about commitment after what happened to me in the past. But that was really, really silly of me, and I'm so sorry. Forgive me. Auntie Kemdi, please forgive my dad. I miss you, and we miss you. I'm sorry for causing my boundaries to you. I should have known better. Come on. Sorry. Kim, you don't be like that. There's no point in you apologizing. Okay, there's no need for you to apologize. You have nothing to apologize for. If anything, I should be the one apologizing. Okay? I should be apologizing for my blindness. For not seeing how I was doing everything wrong, particularly as it affects you. I should apologize for. for not appreciating you more. Please, Inkim, come back home. My daughter needs you. I need you. But my shattered heart couldn't see the escape. I had everything Needed in your arms, but the skies of yesterday clouded my view. Clouded my view. I let the pain of the past drown out your arms, but now I see it was always you. Yeah. Through the pain and tears of the past, I see the love that's been there all along. Yeah. In your embrace, I find my peace at last. Thankful for you, my heart is healing. I had everything Ooh. I needed in your arms, but the skies of yesterday clouded my view. Yeah. I let the pain of the past drown out your arms, but now I see. It was always you. I had everything I needed. I had everything I needed in your arms. Yeah. But the skies of yesterday clouded my view. I let the pain of the past drown out your warmth. But now I see it was always you.